So the Janus Clinical Trials Repository is our initiative to provide an environment for the warehousing of study data that would allow easy access to reviewers to the data that they most um, need to support regulatory decision making. So at the moment, the Janus Clinical Trials Repository is integrating uh, structured standardized data that uh, is clinical trial data that comes in support of regulatory applications. The idea here is that we provide an environment that allows for the validation of that data that's to ensure that it is quality data. Then it gets uh, integrated into the, into the data warehouse um, and provided into data marts that are linked to analytical tools and um, analytical capabilities. A reviewer will sit at the end of uh, that environment and have access to the data. Uh, this allows them easy access to high quality data to support decision making. The challenges in bringing in data um, or, or disparate uh, massive amounts of data into a warehouse is, uh, is having uh, unstructured uh, data that you need to sort through. And so one of the things that we're doing is that we're using the data warehousing uh, initiative to also encourage the submission of standardized data to support those uh, processes. So what we're hoping to do is then be able to have data that is available um, to the reviewers in a seamless way. The Janus Clinical Trials Repository, I think, gives us uh, the first step to really be able to get to a place where we can leverage data more fully. And some of the ways in which we're envisioning that is to be able to now do the integration of clinical trial data that is submitted in support of regulatory applications with actually data that, um, that may be a different source. And for example, one of the, one of the things that we're hoping to do is in, have an environment that enables us to look from the non-clinical data to the clinical data to be able to uh, have better predictions um, as to what happens. Uh, what we can expect in the clinic when a new product, um, when a new um, product is being tested. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is be uh, consider the integration of pharmacogenomic data uh, with clinical trial data, and that takes us to a place in which we can start to explore what personalized medicine looks like, particularly how we might approach that in the uh, in the real world. Um, additionally, one of the pieces that would be really interesting is being able to leverage you know, um, efforts by outside um, government agencies that are collecting data. Um, these are like the simple uh, trials uh, repositories that have a lot of therapeutic area specific data that is being collected. And if we were able to combine that with that, that type of um, information, we were able to combine it with our clinical trial data and help us uh, be able to integrate it, it might allow us to have a better foundation for some of the, the decisions that we have to make about the safety and efficacy of products.